Brisbane auction volume is at a five-year high. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your stein of coffee. I want to have a look at this article from realestate.com.au discussing auction volumes in Brisbane hitting a five-year high. Now, traditionally, Brisbane has not been well, as keen for auctions as those in Sydney and Melbourne. You, you know, in the news all the time, it's about auction clearance rates, auction clearance rates. They're going up, so people use that to make investment and property decisions. Now, I want to show you this article that I wrote, everyone. We got some data, some data from, well, from who was it? What was the team? Fresh Canvas. Data scraped the uh, real estate websites, and we found that there was a little bit of variance between the actual published or advertised auction rate and what it could be. And this is one example. A published auction clearance rate is 74%, but the range is from 60 to 79%. So it will always be towards the positive. The auction clearance rate will always be higher than it probably is because you have real estate agents, and real estate agents aren't going to publicly admit to their failures. Now, I would link to this. This is on the Heiser Says blog. Have a look at it, guys. Go through it. And, well, just so you have an understanding of... Uh, the data, the variation in the data that is here. This isn't all golden. It isn't all 100%. They don't tell you the range in it, but people don't care about that. They just want to hear the big numbers. They want to hear it going up, and you know, that will influence people. That will influence people. And well, then again, if it influences people, is that reality, guys? Is that more important than reality? We are in a, well, facts really don't matter that much to reality. Sadly enough. Anyway, Brisbane's auction volumes hits a five-year high. Brisbane's auction volume is the highest it's been in five years, with 248 auctions going ahead this week and more than 700 auction campaigns currently underway in the greater Brisbane region for auctions between now and December 11. And the appetite for property continues with auction clearance rates as high as 89% during last week's auction blitz which saw as many as 160 properties go to auction. I remember when we were looking at auction clearance rates, uh, there was a point where I'd discuss it every week, and you'd see Tasmania was at 100% auction clearance. 100%! It was one property. (laughs) So, we had a record number of auctions in October. And you know, auctions cost more money than just selling traditionally. And it's about getting the people hyped up. You know what this is. Guys, this is the Southerners. This is people from New South Wales and Victoria looking at Brisbane and used to auctions. And the problem is they'll be anchored at higher prices. We looked at it yesterday in the live stream. We, you know, the $400,000 challenge, what property you could find around Brisbane for four hundred grand as, as what I would consider a starter home. You know, just a little block of dirt with a three better to get you in. And then we finished the night by looking at Sydney. And yeah, that, that was a little, <laughs> a little depressing. Anyway. We had a record number of auctions in October, and November auction numbers are equaling October, Place Estate Agents Managing Director Paul Curtin said. A lot of the people who end up buying will turn around and sell the outgoing asset by Christmas, and we are giving them confidence to achieve that. We will have auctions to Christmas. CoreLogic property data shows a revised overall auction clearance rate of 77.7% for Brisbane last week. Place estate agents recorded an 80.7% clearance rate last weekend, selling 42 of 52 properties it took to auction, with an average of 10 bidders per property. Ray White reported a clearance rate of 88%, well above the previous week's 79%. Apollo Auctions had its strongest result of the year with 89% clearance rate and an average of 8 registered bidders. And realestate.com.au data from available results also point to an 89% clearance rate for the week from October 18th to 24. In highlights from the weekend, a man paid more than $1.5 million for a house in 26 Overend Street, Norman Park, despite seeing the property for the first time only 30 minutes before the auction. At least it isn't sight unseen. At least it's not sight unseen, okay? At, at least it's not sight unseen. <laughs> oh, boy. So 35 registered bidders took 6 Verdun Street 
all the lead to auction where it's sold to first home buyers for $1.275 million. First home buyers, $1.2 million. I guess. I mean, okay. First home buyers, $1.2 million. That seems like a lot for a first home. A two-bedroom house in 35 Burwood Terrace, Orkinflower, made 500000 in two years when it sold for $1.55 million. And the richest sale of the day was a renovated Queenslander at Hawthorne. It sold for $4 million. Now, see, this, this guys, this is the issue right here. Five hundred grand in two years. Okay? Not a, we, let's, let's even ignore median income. I mean, even a higher income. It's, that's, that's doing pretty good, pulling in two fifty a year. This is why, <laughs> why it disincentivizes people from going into business. It really does. And I, I don't blame them. You know, and good on the people. Congratulations to the people that sold a two, two bedroom home, <laughs> two bedroom. So it's obviously the land, but it was an acreage property at Clear Mountain that found the most unusual auction path, selling under the hammer for one point two, despite the two bidders failing to get their finances approved. LJ Hooker, Albany Creek agent Jonathan Wine, negotiated between the buyer and sellers, and the auction was held, but with a finance clause added so both bidders could participate. Oh boy. There's generally a feeling from the local market that we're going to get in before the southern buyers hit our, our market properly, place estate agent's chief auctioneer, Peter Bergen, said. I spoke to people about that specifically today, and they feel things are going to get worse, not better when the other layer of competition comes in. Ray White Chief Auctioneer Gavin Croft said the market was showing some urgency from buyers and he expected the energy in the local market to continue. Place Wool and Gabba James Curtin said interstate buyers were not as active as they were three or four months ago. However, Apollo Auction Director Justin Nickerson said it was still unusual to call an auction without a phone buyer from Sydney or Melbourne. The interstate presence is still strong, but the general rule with some expectations is that local buyers are more commonly beating their interstate rivals. They're putting more emphasis on the value of particular suburbs, but it would be unusual to have an auction without an interstate buyer. Inner ring suburbs were the focus of weekend place auctions, with sales averaging $1.4 million. One thing out there is the, this narrative of what will happen when interstate Orders open, Mr. Curtin said. Will there be a flood of buyers? We still have strong interstate interest via the telephone or virtually. Will the border see that increase? That will be a wait and see. Around 100 properties are heading for auction across Brisbane on Saturday. Today, everyone. So, I mean, that's the thing. We're not seeing the interstate buyers flood. And that's the fear that a lot of people have, that interstate buyers will flood the market, everyone, that they'll come and flood the market here in Australia, uh, in Queensland. What are you going to do? I mean, Brisbane is going to seem affordable to anyone from Sydney and Melbourne. There's going to be more opportunities. You could sell an inner city two-bedroom terrace house in Sydney and buy three or four 30 minutes away from Brisbane. You could buy you know, a cheapie and get a few investment properties. You could do it. I think there's going to be more strength in the Brisbane market. If if it does cool down a little bit, I mean, this is what always happens. Sydney and Melbourne go to the moon, and then Brisbane shoots up. Let, let's have a look. Let's compare some asking prices. We can see here the asking prices for Sydney. There you go. For a three-bed, $1.4 million. This is from SQM. Let's have a look at Melbourne when it loads up. Come on. I'll reload this page. We can see Melbourne, a three-bed, $1 million. Okay, we look at good old Brisbane here. I'll reload this page again. We can see for us, a three bed is still 682,000, but look how it's climbing up. So you can see how those people in Melbourne and Sydney are going to be anchored to higher prices. So they're going to come here. Everything's going to seem more affordable. They're going to come in with their, their mentality and their accept, their, well, their condition to bid and fight at auctions. That's going to be Brisbane, guys. So check out this video we did yesterday. This is the live stream. It's a long one, but we go through all of, well, the $400,000 challenge to see what you can find for that price range here in Brisbane. And then we finish up looking at Sydney. Take care, guys. 
Have a great day and I'll see you next time.